Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem uh, 46 in the chapter 3. In this problem, this is a very complicated uh, problem in project motion. But I believe if you can solve this problem independently by yourself, you can totally see you, to you understand what happens in project motion. You can see for this one, we first thing need to construct the reference point x component and y component. And then we know the initial position for this uh, um, particle is, is just uh, 115 meter above the ground. There we, think we take the ground as reference point, so the initial position is 150 meter. And then the initial velocity is just uh, 65 meter per second with an angle theta. Therefore, because this initial velocity with an angle theta in project motion, we solve problems in two components, x component and y component. We must project the initial velocity v in x component and the y component, right? So in this way, we get the v o x in x component is v cosine theta, this, this side. So this side is v o x, and this side v o y is the v magnitude two times the sine theta. And then we know the final position is there because it reaches to the position P at the ground. So first, first one asks you to find the time taking for this project motion at the point P. So this is the final position. This is the initial position. And we also know initial velocity in Y component. And another thing is acceleration in the Y component is negative G. There we must take the negative negative side because we consider the up as positive so pointing down is negative and in there you can see we have the quantities the initial velocity initial position final position acceleration can you find time t yes super easy right we can use this equation which equation this one so in this equation we just need to input the long quantities and solve the equation to find the time t. There we get two uh, selections for time t and because this is negative side we drop it, we just take this positive, positive time. So the time is around 10 seconds. Uh, the next one asks you to determine the uh, range, the distance x of point. So the x, this one, we can see in project motion the velocity at x component is constant because there is no acceleration at x component and the initial velocity in x component is given so we know the time t we also know the velocity at x component so super easy the displacement at x component is v o x times the t right v o x times the t this one the next one asks you to find the horizontal and uh, a vertical component of its velocity, their its velocity. What does that it means? It means the point P, right? Point P. So find the velocity at the P point. First thing we can consider this velocity at the P should be in two components, VPX and VPY y component. And for X component, it is much the same with the initial velocity at X component. Nothing changes, so this one equal to this one. Now, can you find the velocity at a y component? See, there you know the initial velocity, you know acceleration, and you also know t. So easy, right? The velocity at the p component at the p point in y component is this initial velocity plus acceleration times t. So this one, get it? Yeah, and then we can solve the problem C. And the next one asks you the magnitude of the velocity. There you can say we know P, V, P, X, V, P, Y. Can you find the magnitude? Yes, just uh, take the square, V, P, X square plus V, P, Y square. So this one and this one. Super easy. Next one, find the angle of this uh, uh, velocity. So just uh, Arctangent, right? V y v x. So it's still very easy. The next problem asks you to find the maximum height above the cliff. 
So the maximum head is there. See, it's there. At this point, as a peak, as a peak, we know the velocity y must be zero. The velocity at y component is zero. This must be a base. So we can see, in this case, we know the initial velocity. We know the peak velocity, and we know acceleration. We know initial position. Can you find the position at the peak? Sure, we can use our favorite equation in chapter three, this one. See? In this one, we know the final, uh, at the peak, the velocity is zero for y component. And th this one is the velocity, initial velocity at the y component, and this one is 2g, this is y max, is the peak position. And then we solve the equation, we get it. Thank you.